Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Aspen Plus tutorial video. Uh, first of all, uh, Happy New Year's and I also would like to apologize for the very long hiatus, wasn't able to upload new videos uh, because I've been, be I've, I've been busy with something else. But now I'm back and today I'm going to show you how to add a stream price as well as add new currency in your process simulator. So yeah, let's begin. So as you can see right now, this is our Aspen Plus design problem. But before we delve deeper into this topic, I would like to explain to you about the economics active option within the uh, economics tab of Aspen Plus. So when you click economics, economics tab in Aspen Plus, there are economics active button that you can click. So when you click, means that you are selecting that, that option, you are activating that option. So what does it do? So when you click that option, Aspen Plus will send all of the uh, uh, simulation result and data into the economic analyzer of Aspen Plus. So it is within the, within the software itself. Usually they are called integrated economics. So what does it do is it allows you to do a lot of things. Uh, for example, techno economic evaluation, Anything related to project management, you know, uh, full economics uh, evaluation, costing, mapping, uh, sizing, and all of those kind of things. Uh, but what I'm trying to do right now is just a simple costing without activating the economics active uh, features. Uh, the reason why I don't want to do uh, economics active features is because uh, this topic is quite big, so it deserves a special uh, videos, I would say. But what I'm trying to do is just a simple uh, costing. Uh, in the economic step, you will see there are three options that you can access. The first one here is stream price. Uh, it's basically a place where you can add uh, cost or price, uh, purchase price uh, or, or sell price for your product and raw material. You can also assign the uh, cost for your process utilities such as uh, steam, electricity, uh, cooling water and all of it all those things and the third one is cost option cost options allows you to specify when the when uh the engineering uh, uh begin you know your and then your plan lifetime and then and then you can also specify these uh, currency and you can also select the costing uh, template uh, the default one is the US template so let's say you are residing in China Japan or uh, Europe and and maybe Australia you can choose the uh, the uh, template or, or yeah the, the costing I would say template uh, specific to that region okay um it's quite easy uh what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna assign uh the stream price for this three uh stream ngl feed gas product and then ngl product i'm not gonna create a new simulation i'm not gonna create a new flow sheet but i'm just gonna open the existing one uh available in a spend plus uh, c file so um, what I do, what I did was I just opened the NGL processes. Uh, these are the file location, C program file at P6, you go uh, in the example, and then under midstream folder, you will see NGL file, just open them and then run. Um, what I'm trying to do here is to determine the operating cost for this process in Malaysia again, okay? Uh, as I said, uh, the default the default uh, template for costing is in the uh, American dollars. So. So, but of course I'm residing in Malaysia, maybe it's more practical for me to uh, display the, the cost in Ringgit. So I need to find a way of how can I convert uh, one American dollars to uh, Ringgit. So of course I need to know what is the conversion rate. Uh, as you can see here, one US dollars, I checked yesterday, it's uh, four, 443 Ringgits. Um, that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, in the table here, you will see uh, NGL feed, the price is one Ringgit per ton. Uh, gas product, which is basic made product, is 1.5 ringgit per ton, and an NGL product, which are also another product, uh, is 1.5 ringgit per ton. So NGL feed is my raw materials. And then of course here you have off gas, which are considered a product as well, but I'm not going to assign any numbers, any, any cost to that. Uh, so I'm going to assign, I'm not going to assign any value, any number, so I, you can either assign zero ringgit or don't assign at all. And then here, 
since this process are producing water, so of course, uh, this water is considered, uh, you know, a product technically. But you know, uh, in a, in a process, you probably dealing you 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 probably want to you know treat this water before it's being discharged to the environment. So there's going to be some cost associated with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a cost per ton of water. What is the cost of treating uh, that water? So per, per ton, so ringgit per ton, essentially. And my task is my, my task is quite simple. Uh, operating cost of this process. Other costs such as utility costs is not considered. It's basically a net cost related to the uh, flow of product and, and, and raw materials only. So yeah, uh, that's my task. So I'm just gonna open my software and then that's, uh, and then I'm just gonna begin with the uh, simulation. All right, guys, uh, as you can see here, this is the NGL file that I have opened uh, from the example folder. You can just go to the C file and then open it from there. Um, as I said, not gonna go, not gonna add any new blocks or anything. What I'm gonna do is just add stream price only and then change currency. But before that, I'm gonna run my simulation just to make sure that everything's uh, all converged. Okay, I got a result. So uh, the task is to add cost, uh, add stream price. So you go to economics uh, tab. As you can see here, uh, integrated economics is not active because you are not activating this. And I I have no intention of doing that in this video. But when I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a stream price only. But before that, I think it's better for me to specify the currency first. So you go to cost option. So when you click cost option, uh, these are the, the, the template. Uh, you can go, you can browse the template. Uh, for the template that you want. Uh, in here, you will see a Chinese uh, metric unit, uh, Europe uh, uh, metric unit, Japan. Uh, I, I don't really remember what this ME, uh, UK, US, and things like that. So just choose uh, based on based on the, the situation that you are in. Uh, here you have investment option, operating uh, life of a plan, length of plant startup, start of basic engineering. So all of those, if you have any of those information, you can you can add them, uh, insert them here. But I'm just gonna add a new currency. So I click this new currency tab. So currency symbol is RM, nation ringgit. So conversion factor is just 4.4, 4.43. .4, Ringgit. So 4.43 ringgit is equal to one American dollar. So that's pretty much how you uh, set up your currency, your, your new currency. All right, moving on. So you go to the stream price. This is the place where you need to add costs. Uh, you need to specify where you will specify the uh, feed uh, cost as well as the product uh, sell price, I would say. Um, you can specify one by one, no problem, but I'm just going to add all. Add feed stream, meaning that they will recognize, Aspen will recognize all of the incoming feed. So only there's only one feed. So, you know, it is what it is. And then I also will add add product stream. Basically, any stream that are leaving, uh, that, 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 that are leaving the, the, the block, I would say. Now, as you can see here, I have... Uh, gas product, NGL product of gas, and then water. So, uh, as I said, uh, I'm not going to consider off gas as my as part of the uh, part of the uh, uh, cost. I would say so. There are two ways for you to do this. Either you specify zero, or I can just simply click this and then right click and then delete a row. Okay, next is just to specify the uh, price. So uh, basis, you can buy mass, mole, volume, or, 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 or standard volume. So I'm going to stick with mass, flow rate. So the price here is one ringgit per uh, ton. So there's a RM here. So choose RM per ton. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose all RM per ton. And then gas product is my product, so it's 1.5. Uh, NGL product is also 1.5. Uh, 
Now, for water, it is considered as a product based on the definition, I guess, is coming leaving the system. But uh, in this case, uh, for every water that are produced, I need to uh, spend certain amount of money to treat that water. So basically, basically it is a cost associated of, of associated with uh, treating the water. So what should I do? What I can do here is I can just simply set, uh, specify a negative number. So zero negative 0 0.5 ringgit per ton. That's how I I, I think uh, when, 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 I, when I think of, you know, water is not really a part of the product. It is a it is a product, but there are a costs associated with producing uh, that uh product, basically treating that water. Okay, now that I'm done, uh, I can just run the simulation. And then the result will just come out in the result summary. Uh, you can just go to operating costs. And then you will see here is the cost. Uh, you have a net cost flow of feet. So they will calculate what's the uh, 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 rate, uh, the, the cost, uh, hourly cost uh, of, of using the, the raw material. Uh, it's in dollars, so you can switch to ringgit if you want, ringgit per hour. Net cost flow of product is basically the, 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 the I would say revenue, I guess. Uh, or, or the 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 price uh for each for every ton of of, of product that you're producing uh, i think that's the simplest way not really an economics person so but you know what i mean and then overall net cost is just basically a, a product minus uh raw material uh at m per hour so it's around oops so it's around 15 ringgit per hour. So of course, uh, in the uh, operating cost, we have a utility cost and things like that, but we did not we did not uh, add new uh, process utility. We didn't consider that uh, in this simulation. So the overall, overall net cost flow is just, you know, it just, uh, just cost associated with, you know, with uh, your raw material as well, as well as your product. That's, that's, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it guys. So the net cost flow that I got after running the simulation is around 15 ringgit per hour, roughly 15.25 ringgit to be exact. Uh, only after I add the stream a price, uh, feed price, as well as the product price. And then also I use the conversion rate of $1 is equal to 4.43 ringgits. Okay, I think that's pretty much all for me. I hope you like the videos. Uh, consider subscribing to my channels and I will see you guys again in the next video. Right, bye-bye.